So it's Wednesday, it's the day after treatment and I've landed myself back in the hospital again having fluids over there, there's my... I just, just finished the bag there now actually just going in there into my port um, yeah so I woke up this morning after having treatment yesterday and I knew it was going to be another one of those days like I feel a lot better than I did when I came in here two hours ago the headache was oh my god I thought I was going to s explode to be quite honest the head was so bad but I've been vomiting all day and of course when you're vomiting all day on an empty stomach you know your head just you know the pain becomes unbelievable to be quite honest um anyway i knew i couldn't do another night of that uh because i had nothing in my stomach thankfully i'd had tea and toast last night you know, about maybe nine o'clock before i went to bed so that was something but i had had nothing all day today i couldn't even keep down water so i, I knew i had to come back in so i rang my doctor and he said yes um you know i was probably very dehydrated which i was i feel a lot better now but my head is still hopping so they're going to give me something for that um but trying to decide whether or not they're going to keep me in because I've, got, I've still got a bit of a temperature um, and they don't really know why I'm getting so sick on this drug so they're waiting on my bloods to come back they want to look at the chemistry and if there's anything kind of unusual I think they'll keep me but uh, anyway for the moment I am hopefully going back home this evening uh, but if they keep me in they keep me in you know at this stage yeah, I'm probably better off um, so yeah it's it's tough when it's bad like this um i mean i got sick every couple of weeks on pembro like this but it was just one day every two or three weeks whereas this seems to be just non-stop if i don't come in and get fluids like if i'd left it tonight i probably would be still getting sick at home and tomorrow like i was the last time so i don't know what they're going to do um you know, we've tried a couple of different anti-sickness medications. Interestingly enough, actually, one of the drugs, I told my pharmacist at home about this and he was fascinated. One of the drugs they've given me is an antipsychotic drug uh, called olanzapine, uh, which they use to treat schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. So I, I have to take that drug for four days in a row. Uh, so on the day of treatment and three other days. So they found that it works really well uh, as an anti-emetic in cancer patients. So that's interesting, but that doesn't seem to be working for me. So <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do now, to be quite honest. We'll just have to wait and see. I just hope it doesn't mean I'm going to have to come off it or anything. Um, I just hope my body will adjust. I hope it's just my body trying to adjust to this new drug and that eventually it will settle down. So we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, that's, uh, yeah, that's my update for today.